Hi, I'm Nick Haraz from Creative 111 here with Boris FX to bring you a very exciting tutorial on working with VR units inside of Final Cut Pro 10. In this movie, we're going to take a look at three VR units. That includes the VR Blur, the VR Sharpen tool, and something not available in Final Cut at all, which is the VR Flicker filter. Regardless of all of these filters that you've covered, you've got an expansive cross-platform tool set if you use Motion with Final Cut where you can export one of these effects to share with someone that you might be collaborating with who works inside of a program such as DaVinci Resolve. Let's take a look at these effects and how they work inside of Final Cut. I have a clip here in front of me. In order to take a better view of it, I'm going to go over to the view and look at my 360 viewer. I want to move in onto my scene by changing the field of view. If I draw your attention here to the red box and I start to play back my footage, Notice that some flicker is going to start to appear. And if I go inside the Final Cut 360 degree effects, I notice that there isn't really something meant for dealing with flicker, which could happen when you're using consumer or prosumer 360 cameras. What I'm going to do is actually head to the BCC VR category, and I'm going to choose to grab the BCC VR flicker filter. Once I apply this to the clip, the filter is going to be added in the video inspector. And choosing a particular method, it's going to try to remove the flicker from this box. Since I know that the method right now that will work for this clip is the temporal smooth RGB, I'll apply that method. I may choose to change the time window for how it's looking to solve this as well as the window cutoff. I'll choose to bring up the smoothing just a little bit to a value of six. And once I have, in paying attention to both the echo rectangular version or distorted version of my clip, along with my VR viewer, if I start to play back, the flicker has been removed from the area. If we need to, we can always come back to the controls over here for smoothing as well as analysis, as well as change our time window and have further controls down here to the red, green, and blue range to get just the amount of flicker removal that we need. Now, I'm just going to remove the flicker fixer effect from this clip. On top of the flicker fixer, we have the blur as well as the sharpen control. While the VR blur controls are very similar to the ones that you find in Final Cut, there's one very important difference, and that is your ability to choose a 180 degree format. On top of being able to choose a 180 degree format, most controls from BCC, if you right click them, you can open up a copy in motion. Now with the BCC VR blur effect open inside of motion, we can select it. And if you head to the inspector, you have the option of, of loading a 360 clip or 180 clip inside of motion. But even better, if you set up a blur to the amount that you like, and even keyframe that value, you can save this blur out to your system inside of Final Cut and share this with someone who is working on a different platform such as DaVinci Resolve for color correction. So having motion as a companion can be great for 360 workflows as well as your VR units for those cross-platform workflows. Last but not least in Final Cut with these clips selected, I am going to remove the BCC VR blur. We have the BCC VR sharpen effect. If I apply this effect to the clip, not only do you have some basic controls for sharpening your clip, but extensive ones for whatever that experience, whether it be for social media or for let's say a VR head mounted display where you require more sharpening inside your image without causing any problems to your detail. Let's start off here by looking at the sharpening strength as well as play with these additional parameters to get the sharpen that we want. Not to mention, you can always open up the sharpen and work on a 360 degree clip inside of motion and send that to a cross-platform application. Here's an example with the compared to original mode turned on. And you can see on the left hand side, that's without the sharpen and on the right hand side, that's with the sharpen. You could of course change where the wipe slide happens. There you have extending your 360 workflow in Final Cut Pro 10 with the BCC VR units. I'm Nick Karaz. Check out Boris Effects on all social media channels as well as download free version of BCC VR units today.